O God, save me by your name, by your power defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I Through my most grievous fault, therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness. Grant, we pray that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways." He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches, he watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him, but the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. 
Could the authorities have realized that He is the Christ? But we know where He is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where He is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as He was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, good morning to everyone on this, the, well, it's Friday of the fourth week of Lent. Uh, Friday, always during Lent, a special day for sacrifice, for penance. Um, of course, no meat today, but our bishop, Bishop Brennan, has asked that Catholics throughout our diocese, the Diocese of Columbus, make this a, a special day of prayer and fasting for all those who have been affected by the coronavirus pandemic. So um, this is a great way to unite ourselves with the sacrifice of Jesus and also to unite ourselves with those who are suffering because of this pandemic. So think about um, maybe special ways you can pray. If it's an extra Divine Mercy Chaplet or if it's an extra sacrifice, no dessert or fasting from a meal today. Um, this is what we're called to do in these times, these extraordinary times. We're going to um, take up some perhaps extraordinary sacrifices and prayers today. Um, maybe just one uh, word on this gospel. Um, this is a beautiful line that I think we all need to hang on to. Um, so it's the Feast of Tabernacles, and um, the Jewish authorities are seeking to put Jesus to death. So um, his brothers had gone up to the feast. He himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Uh, this is um, very much uh, in line with, with how Jesus operates. Um, he comes to us oftentimes in secret. This is in these days in particular to realize that Jesus is still coming to us in a multitude of ways, but as it were, in secret. We have to have our eyes of faith to see him, to recognize his presence. So I, I say that just because everyone is still wrestling with mass being suspended. Um, I, I know that um, for us as Catholics, we know that it's not a secret. Jesus is present, truly, in the Eucharist. And he comes to us very openly, if you will, sacramentally, but very openly in this encounter at the altar. Um, but I'm, I'm saying that uh, even if we can't be here around the altar to receive Jesus openly, know that Jesus comes to us oftentimes in secret. Um, I would say that two very obvious examples would be um, praying the scripture at home, opening up our Bibles, and taking time to meditate on the word of the Lord at home. That is such a, a beautiful, powerful, it's almost like Jesus, he's finding his way into our hearts in secret. And I would say that the other way um, would be to please remember that we can see the face of Christ in our loved ones, in the people around us. And even if it's through a Zoom conference call, or even if it's through a, a, a telephone conversation, I mean, Jesus comes to us in secret, in the person of our spouse, our brother, our sister, our friend. And so know that yeah, this is, it's still painful for all of us to be separated from the open celebration of the sacraments. But know that... Uh, Jesus, he doesn't come to us openly in these days. He comes to us, as it were, in secret. Let's have the eyes to recognize him and thank him for his presence still among us. Let us now offer our prayers of petition to our Heavenly Father who loves us. For missionaries throughout the world, may the Lord strengthen them in their zeal to spread the gospel let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for policymakers. May the Holy Spirit inspire them in passing laws protecting all life, especially the most vulnerable among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer 
for those persecuted, for righteousness' sake. May God bless them with courage and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all families of Christ the King Church. We pray for families throughout our diocese and country and world. May the Lord give us the grace that we might enjoy unity and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the faithful departed. May they rest in paradise with all the angels and saints. We pray in a special way for William Richards, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the intentions that we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, our very breath is a gift from you. We humbly ask you to listen kindly to our prayers. We make them all to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May the sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure. So that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Do you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants... And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen 
Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation, be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who, those sinners, Hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, Bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In Christ, we have redemption by His blood and forgiveness of our sins in accord with the riches of His grace. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Together we pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
today, right after Mass, we will pray not the Rosary, but because it's Friday, we'll pray the Stations of the Cross. You're welcome to join us for the Stations of the Cross right after Mass. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. By Jesus, it was not Pilate. No, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beg you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul in its journey toward eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than myself. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, in making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of us, and for us, offered to his Father the death he was about to undergo. My beloved Jesus, I embrace all the tribulations you have destined for me until death. I beg you by the merits of the pain you suffered in carrying your cross to give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, and pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider this first fall of Jesus under his cross. His flesh was torn by the scourges, his head crowned with thorns, and he had lost a great quantity of blood. He was so weakened that he could scarcely walk, and yet he had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldiers struck him rudely, and thus he fell several times in his journey. My beloved Jesus, it is not the weight of the cross, but my sins which have made you suffer so much pain. But the merits of this first fall deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. I love you, O oh my Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the meeting of the son and the mother, which took place on this journey. Jesus and Mary looked at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the sorrow you experienced in this meeting, grant me the grace of a truly devoted love for you, a truly devoted love for your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who were overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your intercession a continual remembrance of the passion of your son. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the Jews, seeing that at each step Jesus from weakness was on the point of expiring, and fearing that he would die on the way when they wished him to die the ignominious death on, of the cross, constrained Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross behind our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as the Cyrenian did. I accept it. I embrace it. I accept in particular the death you have destined for me with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death. I offer it to you. You have died for love of me. I will die for love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended you, never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the holy woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus so afflicted, and his face, bathed in sweat and blood, presented him with a towel, with which he wiped his adorable face, leaving on it the impression of his holy countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before, but in this journey it has lost all its beauty, and wounds and blood and have disfigured it. My soul also was once beautiful, when it received your grace in baptism, but I have disfigured it since by my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by your passion. O oh, Jesus, I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the cross, a fall which renews the pain of all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have pardoned me, and how many times have I fallen again and begun again to offend you? By the merits of this new fall, give me the necessary help to persevere in your grace until death. Grant that all temptations which assail me, I may always commend myself to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The eighth station. The women of Jerusalem weep over Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how those women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus in such a pitiable state, streaming with blood and as he walked along. But Jesus said to them, Weep not for me, but for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the offenses I have committed against you because of the pains they have deserved and still more because of the, the displeasure they have caused you who have loved me so much. It is your love more than the fear of hell which causes me to weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love you more than myself. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme and the cruelty of his executioners excessive who tried to hasten his steps when he had scarcely strength to move. My outrage, Jesus, by the merits of the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me strength sufficient to conquer all human respect and all my wicked passions which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the violence with which the executioners stripped Jesus. His inner garments adhered to his torn flesh, and they dragged them off so roughly that the skin came off with them. Compassion, compassionate, your Savior thus cruelly treated, and say to him, My innocent Jesus, by the merits of the torment you have felt, help me to strip myself of all affection to things of earth, in order that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. I love you, Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after being thrown on the cross, extended his hands and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his death for our salvation. These barbarians fastened him with nails, and then raising the cross allowed him to die with anguish on this infamous gibbet. My Jesus, loaded with contempt, nail my heart to your feet, that it may ever remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The twelfth station, Jesus is raised upon the cross and dies. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours' agony on the cross, consumed at length with anguish, abandons himself to the weight of his body, bows his head, and dies. O oh, my dying Jesus, I kiss devoutly the cross on which you died for love of me. I have merited by my sins to die a miserable death, but your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me grace to die, embracing your feet and burning with love for you. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you with my whole heart. I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The 13th station. Jesus had taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how after the death of our Lord, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother, who received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him to her bosom. O mother of sorrow, for the love of this son, accept me for your servant and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, permit me to love you, for I wish only you and nothing more. I love you, my Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The 14th station, Jesus.